Yo, well gone. This is stressful, man. This is stressful. But anyways, stressful. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Shinobi. I'm an artist based in Wayne, Michigan, and today I'm gonna try to show you how I compose a painting. First video, so bear with me. I'm not really sure how it all works, but I'm gonna get used to it. But yeah, just just watch the video. Thank you. All right. Okay. So uh, don't worry. I'm a professional. I've been doing this for approximately three days, so I I know what I'm doing, guys. Don't worry. I got this. Now the very first step is just having an idea to work with or a subject matter. For this one, my idea is just to do a portrait and to have a reflection in it and just interact with the reflection. And after I had my reference together, I put them together on an app called um, Visref. I'll write it down somewhere. And that's what you saw me using the other time. And then after that, I just played around with some composition ideas and then had people like give me critiques and what they think was best or you know suggestions and stuff and in the end i decided to go with the second one because it's a lot more dynamic because you can see there's a lot more angles in there and your eye moves around a lot more and not long after that i just went straight into my sketchbook i do a lot of my work in my sketchbook i've got i've got a lot of finished finished pieces in my sketchbook it's a very it's a very small sketchbook but all the same it's, it's good enough for me so yeah here i'm just going over my thumbnail again but like obviously with a lot more simpler shapes and just trying to figure out if it'll you know fit on the paper if you are following me and like you want to work in a similar fashion make sure your initial sketches are quite light so you can rub them out and yeah, I, I rubbed out a lot during this. It's a lot easier to move it around on digital, but yeah. So, you know, this is me now going into the the inking stage. I start off with like just a little outline and then I go straight into the shading because, you know, it takes a while to just outline everything and then go back to the start. So what I like to do is I'll outline something small first, like the head here. And then, yeah, just go straight into the detail work and the shading. I forgot to say this at the start, but um, I do plan, I, I plan to like make this into a big, a bigger painting in oils. And um, yeah, so at this stage, I just want to get as much detail as I can from my reference pictures. Cause then when I move to the painting, this new drawing is going to be my reference picture for details. I mean, I'm still going to have my reference pictures that I took, but this is the one Thing that has them together as I want them in the painting. This time goes by. Okay, let's get the little get to know stage out of the way. So I was born and raised in Nigeria, then I moved to the UK at the age of 11 where I studied art GCSE at age 16 and then Again, at age 17, 18, I studied art uh, A-levels. People like frequently ask like when I first started drawing. And it's not a question that's easy to answer because I don't remember because I've always been drawing as long as I've known. So let's say 20 years or maybe 15, give or take, I'm not sure. And uh, as I said, I studied GCSE art, which is where I was introduced to acrylic painting. Before that, I was terrified of painting anything because I just thought, no, nah, I'm not good enough for that. Like, that's for like masters, like you have to get taught how to do that kind of stuff. But here's the truth. You can't really learn it from anyone. Like you can watch the videos and listen to tips and stuff, but the real learning is done on your own time. So you have to spend a lot of time practicing and failing, which is okay, man. It's okay to fail as an artist. Just come back every time and make sure you're improving. There's nothing wrong with that. And 
and now I'm just doing the thing I said I wasn't gonna do before. I'm just going. I just went in and outlined everything, and this is because I wanted to take a picture for Instagram and just you know post a progress pic, which I actually didn't end up doing. So I didn't need to you know do all of this, but it did make things a lot less messy because I could then rub out the pencil lines and stuff. I did my first oil painting when I was 17. This was A-levels and uh, it was a master, a master copy. And what a master copy is, is pretty much you're just copying a pre-existing painting from, usually from like a, the Renaissance period and stuff like that. But in my case, I didn't just copy it straight off. I added a bit of my own appropriation to it. It was my project for school, but I did pretty well, actually. I got A grade, so, you know, gang business, man. After I finished my A-levels, um, I applied for University of Arts London after my gap year. And um, technically it wasn't a gap year, I'm lying right now, but I will tell you why later on at a la later date. But yeah, I applied to University of Arts London, which at the time was the second best in the world. And I got in, but... <sighs> You know what? Sometimes life doesn't just. Sometimes life doesn't want you to like do certain things, and you know, um, I ended up not going there and moved back to Nigeria for a few months before then coming to the US, where I am right now, studying art, which is what I've always wanted to do. Actually, that's a lie. That's a lie. At one point, I wanted to study architecture just because I thought, you know, I could make some money off this. There's a steady salary. Then I realized I don't want to spend seven years doing something just because of the money and then end up regretting all that time spent stressing. So yeah, I'm an art student at Eastern Michigan University. Yeah, and I'm loving it, man. I've been here for four months, five months. Auntie Rona just hit. Everyone's locked down. So I thought, you know, let me, let me do this YouTube thing. Let's see what happens. Huh? I have time. As I said earlier, this sketchbook's pretty small. It's an A5 sketchbook, so I need a pretty small pen to do details. And here I'm using a 0.05 millimeter uni pen. And yeah, I'm just gonna go through this really fast. I'm gonna go back into time lapse. I'll see you guys at the end of the video. If you made it this far into the video, I want to say thank you and I hope you've enjoyed it so far. If you don't already, make sure to follow me on all my socials to like keep up with my content because I do post like the better quality pictures in there. I'm gonna drop a link to my Instagram and probably not my Twitter because you know, uh, who knows what tweets might resurface. I'm not trying to get dragged on Twitter like the recent cases, but you know what, let's, I'll see what I do at the end. And uh, of course, as I just said, the better quality pictures are on my Instagram. So do make sure you go check that and leave a like and share, of course. Thank you. Okay guys, so here's the final look. I'm just gonna add a, fin a few finishing touches here. And but yeah, uh, that took about six hours all in all. And I will be turning this into a painting. So if you wanna see that, make sure you subscribe and let me know what else you wanna see in the comments. 
and uh yeah make sure you like this if you did enjoy it and i hope to see you soon